Hillbillies, a term we usually come to associate with the American South and West Virginia, is another type of mythical monster than I would normally cover on this channel. We have all seen them in movies like Deliverance, The Hills Have Eyes, Wrong Turn, and they even appear in an episode of The X-Files. They are typically a stereotype of an uncivilized human living in a small closed off community. They typically look weird, practice incest and cannibalism, and they love to feast on the meat of unknowing teenagers accidentally crossing their territory. The typical hillbilly house is a classic early 1900s frontier house, run down without electricity, and they usually drive older cars like Chevrolet Impalas or older pickup trucks. That is how I would describe a typical hillbilly, but where do they really come from? Uh, actually, that is a bit of an interesting story. To understand all of this, we need to look at the US, especially after the Civil War. The frontier spread further and further west, and the modernization of the civilization with it. That is but for one place, the Appalachian Mountains. This is an area that is mostly positioned in the states of West Virginia and Georgia. The Appalachian Mountains was home to mostly Scot-Irish immigrants that had settled there, but they didn't follow the modernization like the other settlers did so their homes was very much still rural and frontier-like even after the Civil War. It was around here Americans started talking about hillbillies more commonly, and referred to them as backwards and dangerous individuals. It also didn't help that other people than the so-called hillbillies started to hear rumors about a rather bloody feud between two families in the mountains. The two families, Hatfield and McCoys, is a famous story that is actually true. It was a feud between two families that ended in as many as seven dead on the McCoy side and four dead on the Hatfields, but also four supporters of the Hatfield clan. This story spread like wildfire in the newspapers, and it's even referred to as a war sometimes, and this did not put the mountaineers in any good light. The hillbilly as we know it today happened during the Great Depression. A lot of the mountaineers went down from their rural homes and ventured into the modern cities. And people didn't like them because their poor clothing and that they were seen as backwards drunks prone to violence. However, there has always been legends of hill folks kidnapping people and eating them, but there are very few fixed legends surrounding this. And it is, or was, mostly mouth-to-mouth -mouth legends. However, people obviously thought the mountaineers were violent, so murder was probably not that far-fetched when talking about them. This derived down into stories about people being kidnapped, raped, and eaten up in the mountains. These stories were so prolific that eventually entered popular culture in movies like Deliverance and The Hills Have Eyes, but in reality there is very few cases or facts to look up about the incidents that are like that. In fact, there are fewer stories about hillbillies activities than there are cases of quote-unquote actual werewolves.